All right, hi everyone, welcome to the stream. Good evening, and I hope you're all feeling good today. Oh, uh, oh yeah, happy Easter as well because it's Sunday. Um, yeah, um, we're gonna do some Sonic Generations. I didn't quite figure out what's going on with the controller. Like, it seems to be inconsistent. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and sometimes I've got to restart the game if it stops detecting the controller at any time. I don't know if it's my Xbox One controller that I'm plugging into the PC right now that's doing that, or if it's like an issue with the software. It might be a little bit of both, but I've tinkered with it a bit and I've also figured out how to get the game to run in windowed mode, which is excellent for me, so hopefully that works like it was working earlier, so... Let's get that up and running. Oh. Well, I say let's get that up and running, but I don't think it's going to... Hang on. I'm going to have to close the game for one second, guys. Let me open... I'm, I'm using a thing that should fix this. Which I forgot to open up. Also, I think each and every time I have to load this up, I've got to go through the configure tool, which is always fun. So, one moment while I do that, set it to 360 controller. Even though I'm not using a 360 controller, that's what it's saying I'm using. Right, okay, and then start. Data! Right, okay, here we go. Right, now we're good. Sega. You should be able to see that now. There we go. Right, so... Oh, for fuck's sake. CONTROLLER! Hold on a minute. Yeah, this, is, this has been an issue. The controller sometimes doesn't want to fucking work. Sega. Maybe it's the cable, maybe it's the controller, I don't know, I don't have my other... Like, I've got a spare Xbox One controller, but I don't know where I put it. Okay, it's it, this is this is not playing nice. Right, one moment. Configure Xbox three sixty controller save and quit. All right, now if I play the game, play Sonic Generations. Fingers crossed. Sega. This has been a headache to deal with. Like, I don't know why the PC port acts up like this with the controller input. Nothing. Quality PC port there, Sega. Thanks for that. Right. I'm going to put this up for a minute while I troubleshoot this. Like, it was working not that long ago, but now it doesn't fucking want to work anymore. Tell you what I'm gonna do. Hang on a minute. Let me get my Xbox Series X controller instead. I'm gonna use that instead of this fucking old one. Because maybe it's the controller. I guess there's only one way to find out. Switching to a different controller entirely. See if that fixes the issue. Where did I put that USB-C cable so I can plug this in? Sorry about this. The technical difficulties are like my favourite thing about live streaming. I plug this in here. Click. I'm gonna take the battery pack out. Actually, yeah. Take the battery pack out just in case. I wanna make sure it's actually connecting wirelessly or wired rather. Right, USB game controller setup, just make sure it's detecting. Xbox controller. That's weird, that also detects as Xbox One, even though it's a Series X controller. Alright. And then... Sonic Generations configure... Will this detect the controller? Okay, apparently it detects it, and... Play Sonic Generations. Right, let's see if it works now. Again, sorry about this, like, this shouldn't be happening, but... It might just be the controller that I was trying to use is, like, starting to not work anymore. That might be the reason. 
See, now it works. Works with this controller, so yeah, maybe the other controller's fucked. Right, so let's continue then. So in the interest of playing this game for a bit longer than its, like, actual runtime, I'm going to be doing all of the side missions. I'm not going to go for 100% because that will take too long to get all the red rings and stuff. But I will do all the side missions and whatnot. I did everything in... in Chemical Plant Zone, right? I believe I did. Yeah, I think I did everything in Chemical Plant Zone. I know I did the, the Metal Sonic fight, so... Like, the Metal Sonic fight was probably the last thing I did in this area. Right, I haven't done everything here yet for Classic. I wonder if this song's gonna get me content claimed because it has lyrics in it. Probably not. You know, you know what's funny about my last Sonic Generation stream when I uploaded it to YouTube? Green Hill Zone, the original like Genesis composition, not even like a remix version of it, like that one got content claimed by some random ass company. So that was fun. I hope that company enjoys 0.0000001 cent of revenue. You earned it, guys! So anyway, the control's working fine, so... But yeah, I hope everyone's having a good Easter so far. I didn't have anything planned for Easter, so... I was just kind of in the mood to stream. Let me know if the volume is okay, if it's not too loud or too quiet. Also, hey there, Pixel. You didn't have anything planned either. Ah, okay. Oh. Probably not gonna get that 130 unless I hit some more uh, time bonuses. Yeah. I was right there, god damn it. I mean I'm not gonna sweat it too much if I don't get the S rank, but it's nice for bragging rights if I can get it. Right, so rings. Use ring time Y to get a set number of rings and reach the goal in time to earn the ring time skill. I don't know what that means, but okay. I do love that you can just like pick from various songs like throughout the Sonic series. I don't know if this is a hot take or not. Like, you know I don't like Sonic 06, right? <laughs> That's not the hot take by the way. Like, here's the hot take. I think of all the levels and all the, the different parts of that game, um, Kingdom Valley was probably the best level in Sonic Generations, or Sonic 06. In the worst level, uh, that's a bit of a toss-up, a lot of them are pretty bad. Maybe Crisis City? At least Sonic's version of Crisis City. Whoa, that tornado's carrying a car! And then you die, like, two seconds later. God, the max speed segments in that game were so bad. But I, I get what they were trying to go for, but it just was not that fun to play, because it was a hot garbage, it was a mess. That game definitely needed a lot more time in the oven. I've talked about this before, but I'm considering checking out Project 06 when that's finished. But that probably won't be ready for it, like, you know, anytime soon, but... For those that don't know, Project 06 is like a fan-made, like, from-the-ground-up recreation using the original, like, source code or something like that. And 
they seem to have made a bit of progress on it. Like, they've already finished making Sonics in Shadow Stories. They have to, like, do Silver next. And then, like, the final story. So, whenever they do end up, like, completing Project 06, that might very well possibly be a future stream just for... One, just for shits and giggles. Oh, wait a minute, why did I do that? Just for shits and giggles, you know, for the memes, because Sonic 06, and also because it would be nice to, like, play a, a fucking working version of that game. Wait. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm a dumbass. So... What is the goal? Oh, let's get 80 rings, right, okay. You know, I, com I completely ignored the mission. So I'm guessing if I complete this, that's the skill I get, like just the ability to turn all enemies into rings. Oh, the music's playing. Seems to give you plenty to work with. Oh. Oh god! Should be able to get A rank here. I've run out of ring time. I thought I would have been finished with the level by now. There we go. Easy. Right, well I can buy ring time now. Leaf Forest. That's Sonic Advance 2, right? Amy Topsy Turvy. Race against Amy while riding on a spinning top and beat her to the goal. Oh hey, I recognise this song. What's this from again? This is Sonic Battle, isn't it? Yeah, this is Sonic Battle. I love this Sonic, this song. God, Sonic Battle was a really cool GBA game. Like, I don't know if it holds up now, probably not, but I, I kind of had a soft spot for that game. Here's the thing about Sonic Battle though, I remember it's like, that game gets really fucking hard really quickly. But here's here's something that you can do at some point in the game. If you get, I, I forgot what it's called, if you get a certain card for, for Emerald, like the robot character that you customise, you can completely like break the game in half, like it's so fucking easy to cheese with a certain card. I think it was like Cream's healing ability, because not only does it heal really fucking fast, also, I, I am fucked. Like, Cream's healing ability on, on Emerald, not only does it make you heal really fast, but it also quickly gives you the ability to... essentially do that one-hit KO move. So, you could cheese most, like, opponents in that game by running to the opposite end of the arena, doing the healing until you have the one-hit KO, and then use it on the opponent, and then that's it. And then when they respawn, run to the other side and do the same thing. Rinse and repeat. If I ever stream Sonic uh, Battle, I should show that off. If I ever get that card. Oh! I 
thought I could make that jump. Never been a fan of this particular gimmick in Sonic 3. I mean, it's not that it's difficult to control, it's just when you're, like, turning the other way, you inevitably fall because you have to stop your momentum to, like, change direction. That's the thing I don't like about this. Which, when the level demands that you turn the other way, can be a little bit of a headache. Like that. Don't fall, Sonic. Sonic! But yeah, Sonic Battle was a pretty cool... Like, when did that game come out? It was like after Sonic Advance 3, right? Or was it before? Or was it the same time? Like, I know it was around the time Sonic Advance 3 came out because both of those games were kind of, like, connected to each other, like, story-wise. Because of Emerald and, like, the evil robot that Eggman made called Gemerald or something like that. Right, I think I'm almost done here. So, one, two, three, four... Did I get all five here is Classic Sonic? I don't see the fifth one. Oh, it's over there. Right, okay. Let me just go over there real quick and get that one done. Well, do I really have to go all the way back over here to get to that other one? Wait. How do I get to that other one? Like, it's... wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute, I, I think I didn't see something. I didn't realise there was a hole that you could walk through there. Right, there we go. Egg Robo Rush reached the goal in time while fending off a bevy of menacing Egg Robos. Uh, let's see if I was right. Was this Sonic Advance 2? Yeah, that's Sonic Advance 2. Let's use that one. Oof. Good job. How does the game look, by the way? The frame rate is not scummy or anything, is it? Because I'm trying an experimental way of, like, capturing this in windowed modes. Because for some reason, the PC port of this game doesn't have windowed mode encoded. Like, it's only full screen only. So I've got the game in windowed mode using a thing called DX Wind. Which took me a bit of a, a while to get set up, because it didn't exactly work properly with this game. But I eventually figured it out. I found a YouTube video that explained what was going on. You had to, like, change a specific configuration to get it to work for Sonic Generations. Like, DX Wind is a program that's designed to run full screen only DirectX games in windowed modes. And for some reason, it doesn't work nicely with Sonic Generations unless you, like, change a specific configuration. That was the thing that got me stuck for a while, because I couldn't figure out what was going on, but I eventually figured it out. Oh. 
Oh! I, I almost cheesed that entire section. I wonder... Nah, that's not gonna be enough. Yep! Yeah. I was hoping that time bonus would have been more than five seconds. Right now for Modern Sonic. Right after I grab this bonus. I just realised I was going to spin dash in the wrong direction. There we go. Got song special stage bonus challenge. Is that the Sonic Heroes one? Because I know in Sonic Heroes there's like a version for like bonus points or whatever, and then there's one for like getting the Chaos Emerald itself. Right, 200% boost gauge challenge, or boost gauge is doubled, use the boost to... Use the boost to get through. Yeah, this is Sonic Heroes music. Huh. That, that thing from Sonic... Sonic Adva Adventure 2, sorry I was trying to remember the name, like Pumpkin Hill or whatever, the, the one that Shadow's on, not Pumpkin Hill, I can't remember the fucking name of the level but you know what I mean. Like these things are only in like that one Shadow level in Sonic Adventure 2. Real Canyon. For some reason it has the same energy as like Pumpkin Hill for some reason. Just because it's like a desolate like mountainous area. Wow I actually got S rank on my first try. Knuckles, uh, done that one. Balloon Bonanza, use balloons to bounce extra high as you make your way to the goal in time. Some more Sonic Advance music. Oops. I was trying to be clever there, being like, yeah, I could skip a few balloons if I just boost in midair instead. Nope. You cannot chain a boost back into homing attack. Now I know. As soon as you do the boosting, you're committed to it. Oh, but you can do that. What was that one level in Sonic Unleashed that had like the bones? Was it Rooftop Run? Probably be seeing those bones again in that level. Da, 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 da. God, it was so fucking weird, like, growing up in the 90s when, you know, like, it was all about, like, Mario versus Sonic. And, like, 
it was like the birth of the console wars. Like everybody had to pick a side. It was like, which one were you? Were you a Sonic fanboy or a Mario fanboy? And then like a decade later, it was like, well, Sega can't fucking, you know, keep making consoles anymore. So they're going to put Sonic games on Nintendo consoles. And it took me a fucking while to like get used to that. But when the GameCube came out, the first GameCube game I ever bought alongside Smash Bros. Melee was Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. And then I got um, Sonic Advance as well for the GBA. Both great games. Metal Harbor, speaking of Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, not gonna do that yet, gonna wait till I finish these challenges which we're almost done. Like, you can start the boss as soon as you, like, get the three keys, but I want to um, elongate the playtime of this game. So I'm doing all the side challenges first, just for fun. Doppelganger's race. Face off against Double and beat him in a race. Also, hey there, Moo. When I think of this song, I just think of all those times that I had to replay Metal Harbor to get an A rank. Back when I tried to get every single A rank in that game. Which I was eventually able to do, but sadly the memory card that my, that save file was on went corrupt. Oh! Wrong button. But yeah, the, the original save file where I had all... How much A ranks was it? Was it 180, I think? It was like 120 or 180. I forgot which one it was. But yeah, it was like... It took me the longest fucking time to get every single A rank in Sonic Adventure 2. And I was quite proud of it. And yeah, unfortunately, within a year of that happening, Memory Card kind of gave up. And the save file therein was just lost forever. Never again. But yeah, having to like constantly restart Metal Harbor just to get like the perfect run. Where you get like all the bonus points and stuff from doing all the combos and shit. And it was always like the first few notes that I was just used to hearing. Da 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 Oh, I fucked up. Da 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 Oh shit, I fucked up again. Da -da 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 -da. That was basically my experience. Oh shit. I think we're almost done here. Oh, almost. This is quite a lengthy race. Is this just the full level? I think it is. Oh! <sighs> Why did I do that? Oh, we're fine. Remember the last time I was playing this game, I was complaining about, like, some of the inputs not working correctly? Like, it felt like it was not as responsive. It doesn't feel that way anymore. I think it was my other controller that was acting up. Like, my old Xbox One controller. So I'm using my Xbox Series X controller now, and it works perfectly.
not getting the S strength, but that's fine. Oh. Yes. Got a B rank. Pepsi rank. So I've done 3 out of 5 so far, I think, for Modern Sonic. High speed hijinks. Enemies move and shoot at double speed. Get to the goal safely in time. The fucking speed at these guys shooting at me. <laughs> like they just doubled the animation speed, that's all they did. I can't even like home in on him quick enough. Jesus. No! Trying my best not to die here. Oh, the animation for those have also been doubled. I think the animation for every like asset has doubled up. Like, the ropes move faster, the platforms move faster, like, the animation for, like, the teleport goes faster. Like, I thought it was just the egg robos firing, but that's not it. The only thing that's not, like, even, <laughs> even the rings are bouncing at double speeds. Like, see how quickly they're, like, going down and up? The only thing that's not doubled in speed is myself. Oh, God. Shit. I knew I was going to fuck that up. I'm noticing the frame rate's getting a little crustacular in certain areas. And it's not my PC because I've got a 3080 so it shouldn't be doing that. I think it's just the PC port being the PC port. Right, I believe that's almost all of them. I think I've got one more, maybe? I'm gonna have to double check. Emerald Coast, that's a good one. Yeah, that's all of them. Sonic! 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 
one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's all of them. Right, okay, so now we're ready to do the first boss of the game. I mean, we've been ready for a while, but again, I want more playtime out of this, so... So I believe this game has four different boss fights, or three or four different boss fights, like there's not that many bosses in this game, unless you count like, you know, Metal Sonic and whatnot, which I guess they are kind of bosses as well, but they're not like the proper story bosses. Boss gate is now opened, head on through to face off against the boss. Gonna leave the music as is. Off Mike Pollock Eggman. Sorry if the cutscenes sound a bit quiet or compared to the gameplay, like I can't really change the volume on that. Death Egg. So, you know, being a celebratory game, there's, there's a lot of fan service here, and then here's this Death Egg robot. Right, I see what I've got to do now. There we go. Death Egg Robot just in time for Easter. We're actually one minute away from Monday in the UK, so Easter is almost over. I don't know, is there an Easter Monday or does Easter end after Sunday? Oh, jeez. So this part's kind of cool. Now it becomes sort of a 2.5D battle arena. Yeah, that's cool, Sonic. Don't jump on now, then. There we go. I'm looking forward to the next major story boss fight, because that one is, like, one of the best ones in the game. Not to take any anything away from this particular fight, like, this fight's pretty fun, too. Like I do, I do love the fan service. Like throughout generations. Oh! You think if I landed anywhere near the top, like the exact top, it would be good enough? But now you've got to like land dead center. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. 
Ох. Land on it. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Wow. No, 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 no. There. Definitely struggled a little bit there just because I couldn't quite jump on the exact center point of his arm, but whatever. Goodbye, Eggman. I can't believe Eggman is fucking dead. I can't believe there's two of me. I think I figured it out. Yeah, me too. Double to us? Places and enemies from our past. We're, We're traveling, traveling through, through time, time and space. space. How did this happen? I think it's got something to do with that big thing that just kidnapped Eggman. It sounds like the same thing that kidnapped your friends. Uh, I mean our friends. P, you know what I mean. It's weird how classic Sonic is just a mute this entire time, but classic Tails can speak. Where'd it go? We need to find that thing and fast. Hey Green. Alright, so the first few levels were what I guess people call the Genesis era. Now here is the Dreamcast era. So we're gonna get to the we're gonna get to some really good parts next. Also, you get a chaos symbol for beating the first boss, so now I have two. All right, next up, uh, let's do classic Sonic first. I forgot what this one's called, something like Free Highway or something like that? I don't know. I've got a shit memory. What's this one called again? It's from Sonic Adventure. Speed Highway, yeah, not Free Highway. I love how even though this is like, you know, a 3D based level, like it feels natural playing it in 2D. But the level design is on point. But like they take all the elements and like hazards from like 3D and put them in a 2D plane. Oh. Up and down and all arounds. Alright. To think we went from this to Sonic Forces which was also made by the same team. I'm gonna try limiting my, you know, like, complaints to, like, Sonic Forces, because I definitely complained about it already, but... 
you know, that, that game was kind of hot garbage compared to this. It, it did not... And it's not just a, it's not just a, oh, it's because it's not fan service therefore I hate it. <laughs> Stop clay pot smash sound effects. Sorry, I just find that funny hearing that out of nowhere. Like, it's not just because, you know, this game is more fan service -y. like, it actually plays really nicely. I mean, fan service helps as well, of course, but... If the gameplay is garbage, then it wouldn't fucking matter, would it? I mean, Sonic the Hedgehog Genesis on GBA was technically fan service, but that game was garbage. Up and down and all around there. So, going back to the subject real quick, because I forgot to mention it, um, the whole thing about like Sonic being a mute in this game, like classic Sonic being a mute but classic Tails can speak, apparently at some point in the game's development, I think they were going to reach out to Jill Ale White, like the voice of the classic Sonic from the cartoons, you know, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, like that. Like they were going to have him do the voice of Sonic, but for some reason that didn't happen, so... They were like, you know what, we're not going to bother voicing Sonic, we'll just keep him a mute for this game. Which ultimately was probably the right call to do, since they couldn't get him to voice Sonic. I don't know why they couldn't get Jaleel White, but that, that was the reason why he's not speaking in this game. Did the Sonic cartoons ever get localised in Japan? Because I don't know how big Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog and like... Sat AM and whatnot were like in Japan. Also, I just realized. Look, look at one of the. Like, the signs back there are referencing various characters E123 Omega Road, Blaze Road, Right Lane, uh, S Shadow Avenue. <laughs> right, let's do Speed Highway as Modern Sonic. Lightspeed Dash is featured in the next act, would you like to see a tutorial? Oh yeah, if I recall, they show you like a video and then they show you the video again in slow motion, which is kind of funny. For some reason, like to me it's funny just seeing it like that. <laughs> yeah, like it's just because they like slow down the audio as well. Oh yeah, I can I can drift dash. I didn't even notice the platforms, I was looking at the, the enemies trying to get close enough to hit them. Oh yeah, here we go. Classic set piece from Sonic Adventure. Making good use of the sidestepping mechanic there.
think I'm pretty much on target to getting an S rank if I don't die. Yeah, we're good. Easy S rank. God, could you imagine if there was a mod for this game where Sonic's like S victory animation was like him doing the fucking force? You know, from the first Sonic movie? Do you remember how fucking sneaky the movie, like, the the people who made the movie were about that? Because the original, like, trailer that shows that scene where he's, like, doing a victory dance... I'll finish that thought after this cutscene. Cream rescued. Do we hear Cream's voice again in a future Sonic game after this, or is this the only one? I forgot if she speaks in forces. I don't think she does. So, um, like, for those that don't remember or didn't know about it, like, the, the original Sonic movie, like, when they gave us the trailer that showed the updated Sonic design, like the good one, not the, the creepy, like, nightmare fuel one, uh, not gonna go there yet. Actually, I think I do have to go there right now because the missions are not unlocked yet. Was she in forces? I don't know if she was in forces, actually. But yeah, there was a trailer for the original Sonic movie where they show that one part where, like, Sonic is celebrating at the side of the road after, like, they, you know, destroy, like, Eggman's, like, mech car or some shit like that. And he does a completely different dance in that trailer compared to what the movie actually has, in which the movie he flosses. Like, you know, the Fortnite dance. Very sneaky of them to, like, not show that in the trailer because they knew people were going to make a stink about it. Alright. Here's an iconic Sonic location, City Escape. And here's an iconic Sonic song. The remix is pretty good as well in this game. Only one way to find out. Did Crush 40 do the music for the remix here or not? Like, I can't, I can't tell. I think it's Crush 40. I'm not entirely sure. Oh yeah, there's the gun, <laughs> the gun truck. Oh fuck! <laughs> I I love that. Sonic Adventure 2, your first introduction to Sonic. It's a good game to be introduced to, to be honest. Even though I mostly grew up with Nintendo, I did have a Genesis growing up, so I was introduced to the Genesis games. And eventually, my brother got a Dreamcast, and with it, he got Sonic Adventure. And because the Dreamcast didn't last that long, they, we never did get Sonic Adventure 2. Like, my brother sold his Dreamcast to get a PlayStation 2. Oh yeah, we're riding a, a skateboard, by the way. Got a red ring. But yeah, like, like I said earlier, I eventually got Sonic Adventure 2 through the GameCube port. Oh, fuck! Jesus. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, that gun truck really wants Sonic dead, doesn't it?
still something up there? Oh god. Sorry, I'm trying to do something. Oh. I guess they put an invisible wall after that bit. Oh. What? Okay. I guess because I didn't hit that spring there, I just die. <laughs> I, I just love how they incorporate the gun truck into the 2D segments. They definitely put a lot of thought, care and attention into like translating the 3D elements into like a 2D environment. I never quite understood, like, like I, th I thought Gun was supposed to apprehend Sonic, not fucking kill him. Angel Island Zone song unlocked. Alright, now for modern Sonic. And of course, how else do you start the 3D segment but do this? Attention all units! Suspect seen heading south. Block all major roads and capture the suspect, or run him over with the truck if you can. That would be good too. Alright. Again, good remix. They've got like multiple roads you can go down as well, which is a nice touch. I pressed jump multiple times there. Okay, what the fuck? Right, listen. For some reason, the controls are very unresponsive when the frame rate dips. Like, did you guys see how chuggy the frame rate was? I pressed jump like two or three times and it didn't do it. So I'm guessing the frame rate and the button responsiveness are tied in the PC port. I mean, the frame rate's fine now, so hopefully that won't happen again. Yeah, it seems fine now. Yeah, the PC port of this game is not perfect. I kinda wish I still had my 360 copy, but I don't. I only have the Steam version. Oh. For some reason, there's just a 1-up sitting there, okay. Wait, what did that say? Hang on a minute, can I get back there? I want to see that billboard. That fucking hot dog. Nah, I don't think I can get back. So let's see. Charmy bees. Sweet. Honey butter. I think that's what that says. Okay, there it is. Chili Pup. Chili Pup, hottest dog in town. Oh yeah, there was something... I think there was something in this level in Classic Sonic that I should have shown off if I, you know, realised it was there. Well, it's a funny little easter egg. Maybe I'll replay the Classic Sonic one to show you it. But yeah, here it is. Here's the classic set piece. Oh my god! <laughs> I forgot this version of the gun truck has, like, fucking blades attached to it. Like, saw blades. 
Like, they just ramp this up to 11. What the fuck? Oh, God. If you think this is crazy, just keep watching. It gets crazier. Watch how they finish this set piece. <laughs> how is the truck even fucking doing that? I feel bad for the person that was driving that truck, they're probably dead now. Like, going at that velocity and then crashing into a concrete wall? Yeah, you're probably not going to survive that. Alright, so we've um, rescued Rouge. Batface the rogue. I've never been a fan of Rouge the Bat, to be honest. I don't know. Something about her just seems off compared to most of the Sonic characters. I think it's the Booba. Like, you don't need Booba in Sonic games. Not sure what's in there. Maybe that's like one of the levels, like one of the missions. Like, I wish I could do the side missions now, but you have to clear all three stages first before you do that, so I guess we're just going to move on to the next one. So even though this is called the Dreamcast era, the next one is actually on PlayStation 2 and GameCube, but close enough, I guess. So, Sonic Heroes... I guess if the Dreamcast still existed, this would have been the next mainline Sonic game for that platform. I forgot the name of this level. Yeah, and Xbox. It was the first multi-platform mainline Sonic console game. After, like, Sonic Adventure 2. Sonic Heroes was your first ever Sonic game. I don't know if it still holds up, but I, I enjoyed Sonic Heroes first, back when it first came out. My only problem with it was that the level's gone for a little bit too long. Like, compared to Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2, the levels can kind of be a bit long in the tooth at times. Need to get back to surface quick. There it is. There we go. Look at all those Eggman robots! Yes, we know, Tails. You've said that like ten times, thanks. I love how in that game, when you switch to Knuckles, like the power formation, and you like start punching enemies, it just sounds like Knuckles says shit. Shit! Shit! Maybe I'll do a stream of Sonic Heroes at some point, I don't know. I've been thinking about doing Sonic Adventure 2 randomised at some point because I streamed Sonic Adventure 2 about a year ago. Okay, there's definitely... N Holy shit, what is going on with the controls? Okay, so... Button responsiveness is definitely tied to the frame rate. Whenever the frame rate starts to drop, my ability to like jump just like gets taken away from me sometimes. That's annoying. And I'm not sure if there's a way to fix that.
Sonic Heroes probably was a flawed Sonic game. I mean, they, they all are, let's be real, but... Some more than others, and Sonic Heroes being one of the more flawed games, but I will say this. It's definitely a very fucking quotable game. Oh, 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 oh. Thanks, Will. Uh, I'm playing this on Steam. I'm not even sure why there's frame drops, to be honest. Like, I've got a 3080 Ti, there's no reason why it should be doing that. Got an S rank. Yeah, next time I stream this game, I'm gonna have to look into if there's a way to stop the game frame rate from dropping. Maybe I have to, like, enable V-Sync or something with my capture card settings. Okay, so this level's called Seaside Hill. Like, I remember Sonic Heroes, but I honestly couldn't remember the name of that level. I can't remember the name of most of Sonic levels from, like, old games that are, like, past the Genesis era. Wall jumps, right, okay, time for the tutorial, and then the tutorial again in slow motion. <laughs> I just find that funny for some reason. Oh, shite. Good start. There's the wall jump. God, I need to watch Sonic X again at some point, because it's been it's been a hot minute since I last watched that. The last time I watched Sonic X was when it was on like, you know, when four kids like were dubbing it. And that was like what, fifteen years ago? I'll probably still watch the four kids jump just because I have a soft spot for it. Ah. Thank God for boosting. I love how the Seaside Hill music transitions into the Act 2 version of the song. That's a nice touch. Whale Bay or something like that? I forgot what Act 2 was called. Something to do with whales. Oh yeah, for some reason this is a thing. This, this was never a thing in the original Sonic Heroes, by the way, like just going in a car. I don't know why they added this, but I'm not complaining, it's a cool thing. Alright, now we're playing Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing Transforms. I really should stream Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing Transformed in the future. That game is great. I think I'm almost at the end of the level.
Whoa, my head is spinning. Oh. And I almost died, Sonic. Sonic. -ku. Oh, I thought that was like grinding rail. Sadly, because I did a dumb death at the very start, I don't get the S rank, so that's fine. The original had a bobsled, did it? Okay. I haven't played Sonic Heroes in the longest time, so I don't remember that. So I think we've pieced together more of what's happening. And it's not good. Whoa. When that thing goes through time, it tears space apart, leaving the areas empty and dead, and sticking them in this weird white limbo. When the Sonics accelerate through time, they fix space, returning color and life. And I guess we have to run like there's no tomorrow, or there won't be a tomorrow. Espio. Behold, ninja power! It takes a mighty foe to trap a ninja. Be on your guard, Sonic. Hmm. Be wary, Sonic. I sense a great darkness in that enemy. Alright. Right, now we can do all the side missions. We're gonna be going through 30 of them for this playthrough. So, don't expect me to get to the second boss fight tonight. I think I'll maybe do about half of them tonight and then do the other half next time. Let's start with Classic Sonic. Cream Chow Hunt. Complete with, compete with Cream to find more Chow than her and reach the goal. What Sonic game is this song from again? This one doesn't ring a bell for me. Actually, is this from Sonic 3's multiplayer? Like, I recognise this part of the song. Advertise here. <laughs> you know what my favourite Sonic 3 multiplayer song was? Uh, Chrome Gadget. That's a really good song. Faster than airmail. I like the little, like, billboards. There we go. That was Balloon Park. Oh, is that from, like, Sonic Drift? Doppelganger race. Whoa! Got fucking flung now. 
up and down and flung all around. That's twice now I've done that where the game is like, hit X, and I press A. I love the chow ice cream in the background. Chow gelato. <laughs> oh fuck. I should I shouldn't let the background distract me, but I like all the details. Thank god you can cancel that. Not to take anything away from this level, but the only thing that kinda sucks about it is that it doesn't... It doesn't have the other part of this level, you know, the one like when you run down the side of the building and you're like in that like sit that town area. I guess I would have been asking for too much, but it would have been cool to see. Kind of neck and neck right now. Oh fuck. Gonna be a close race. Oh no! Oh no! What, is this the way I'm supposed to go? Um... Okay, apparently that was the way I was supposed to go. I love all the details in this stage. You were running around on, on suspended roads, then through a hotel, then a parking garage. So much going on. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff also. Look at the bottom right corner there. Chow in space, the search for Takao. That's a reference to Sonic Adventure 2, having a billboard that was like just called Chow in Space. Oh, by the way, if nobody's ever seen it, there's like a, a really cool little animation short that Sega put on their YouTube channel. Or it was like the official Sonic the Hedgehog YouTube channel, I think, that has it. Where it's basically just an animated short of like Chow's in space, but it's really just like cheese dreaming or something. It's like a it's like a dream that Cheese is having. It's it's really funny. I would recommend watching it. Oh. Ooh, his worlds. From Sonic 06. Beware of cop speeders, reach the goal before time runs out. Okay. I'm gonna save those songs for a little bit. See what else we got here.
Oh. Good. So there goes that plus five seconds. God, so much cop siren noises. Wasn't that far off from this. Just slightly too slow. Oh, don't tell me I can't go back up there again. speed challenge, collect power sneakers to reach the goal before time runs out. So much for that sweet mountain music. Ah, fuck. Almost fell to my death there because of that. I mean, we get a little bit of sweet mountain, but not much. Barely missed this rank. Again, I'm not going to go for the S ranks. If I happen to get them, then that's cool, but otherwise, it's fine. Oh. Ooh, Death Egg Zone music. It's a good one. Wrong way. No, no, no! Wrong way! Oh. How many have I done so far? Like... Two... Three? Three, I think. Hang on a minute. Wait, one, two, three... Sorry, I lost count. Let me check again. One, two, three. Okay, that one I've not done. And the one below I've done, right. So it's just this one then. For classic. Avoid getting hit by the pursuing enemies and get to the goal in time. Wasn't this the thing that was spitting rings out in one other mission? It's basically like Key 2 but a robot. Ciao gelato. Delicious! This is delicious! Oh, 
I've never seen the Street Fighter cartoon, I really should check that out. Might be fun for shits and giggles. Like, my exposure to the Street Fighter cartoon was the day of YouTube poops. When, like, you know, that delicious clip was, like, the thing people used all the time. That and, like, M. Bison going, YES! YES! Which I think is part of the same clip. Part of the same moment. The Street Fighter cartoon is a fucking experience. Yeah, don't doubt you on that one. Also, that was a very easy rank, S rank there. Right, that's all the classic Sonic's done for Speed Highway. Gonna do more than next. Oh. Missed. Miss! Oh my god, how, how do I keep missing this thing? Right, modern Sonic time. SBO challenge. SBO, Master of Camouflage. Only the searchlight can reveal SBO, face him and get to the goal in time. Wonder what song they're gonna use for Espio. Oh, this song again. Sonic Battle. <laughs> Was that a stock punch sound effect? <laughs> so I have to like fucking hit him after I do that. Oh. I love, I love how it's just like a stock punch sound effect every time I hit him. Since I've got Sonic games on the mind, what Sonic game would you guys want to see me stream next? Because this year I want to check out Origins Collection, so that would be like Sonic's 1 through 3. And Knuckles, featuring Dante from Devil May Cry. But, um, yeah. I may stream another Sonic game before that, and of course we've got Frontiers at the very end of the year. Like, that's gonna be holiday. Wait, where is he? Hang on. I... can't see... oh. There he is. He keeps changing his position, that's what's going on. There. Yeah, I could maybe do Sonic Adventure 2 Battle Randomizer. I have thought about that for a while now. Yeah, Sonic Origins will have 1, one 2, 3 in Knuckles. All of them using the Retro Engine. So it's just like the mobile ports of Sonic 1 and 2 on mobile, but like on PC or console. I, I'm, I'm trying to walk onto that and I keep missing. Really? Guess you can only walk on from that side. There. Behold ninja power! <laughs> oh! Dumb. Even though I stumbled there a little bit, I was still able to finish it. I didn't get an S rank though, but... Hydro City. Like, see, even this game, like, acknowledges it's Hydro City. It's not Hydro City. I'm just gonna say that now. That's my hot take of the stream. It's Hydro City Zone. Not Hydro City. A 
let's see, drill baby drill. Smash your way through the boxes as you descend to the goal before the time runs out. Right, let's see, let's do... You know what, let's do that one. This is a good song, this is a bop. Hey there, Cray. Sonic Generations is great. I'm playing the Steam version right now. Sadly, the Steam version has some issues, but it's very much playable. But yeah, the, the game itself is great. I just wish the PC port wasn't, like, derped. If I still had my 360 copy, I would play that one instead, but I don't. Interesting level design idea. That was easy. Yeah, it does kind of remind you of that sort of level. It reminds me of, a uh, Fuck, what's that game called? Drill Dozer or something like that? Or Mr. Driller? What was that game called again? Is it Mr. Driller? Kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Right, Doppelganger Race. Actually, no, no let's, yeah, let's do that. Uh, no, it wasn't by Game Freak, I'm pretty sure. It's a puzzle game where you drill down as far as you can into the grounds. And you have to, like, get oxygen capsules so you don't, like, run out of oxygen. But when you dig certain blocks, it causes, like, a chain reaction of other blocks falling on top of you. That's the game I'm thinking of. That's Mr. Driller, right? Nice. <laughs> that fucking clay pot smashing noise. I don't think I was supposed to do that, but at least I didn't die from doing so. They were nice enough to put a safety net there for me. Don't think I'm gonna make that S rank. I was close, but not quite. Oh yeah, I'm glad you- hey there, epic robot or one epic robot. Wait, why is there a red number one there? What's that? 
Oh, right, I see. Right, never mind. It's a client side thing. But yeah, hey there, epic robot. Yeah, that, that gif. Oh, well, I don't need to get an S rank. Again, it would be nice, but I'm not I'm going to go out of my way to get them. Ooh, the original version of Chemical Plant Zone. So we got two more to find for Modern Sonic, I think. There's one. And the one after that is below me. Hot Pursuit. Chase the sprinkle and I mean it's dropping rings. Collect a set number and reach for the goal in time. So I think I've mentioned this before, but at some point I would like to stream the 3DS version of Sonic Generations, which I still have my 3DS copy of that game, so I can stream that on my, like, capture, like, 3DS capture device. Maybe I'll do that in, like, a month or two after I finish this one. I'd like there to be a little bit of a gap between this and the 3DS version. Oh! Have you played the awful RPG game on the DS? No, but I'm well aware of it. What was that game called? Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhoods? I remember some Call Me Johnny like making a review of that like years ago. Give me all the rings please. I hate how once in a while it like throws a, a bomb at you, like that's kinda cheap. Yeah. Oh god. Not really a fan of these collect the ring missions. Like I'm pretty sure I was at the end of the level there because I barely missed the time quota. See, I wouldn't mind this one so much if the sprinkler didn't fucking throw a bomb in my face every once in a while. Cause I kind of feel like that's a little bit cheap of them to do that sort of thing to you. This, this mission is not that good. I'm gonna stick and I'm gonna stick with it and commit to doing every single mission in this game. Because if I don't, then I'd be done with the game tonight. Because I want, I want to get a good little bit of mileage out of this while I stream this game. So I'm going to do every single mission across the three stages before I do the next boss. So you probably won't be seeing me doing the next boss tonight, which is a bit of a shame, because it's a really good boss fight. I'll play this for like another maybe 10-15 minutes, because I'm going to move on and see if I can finish... At least I'm gonna try and finish Mystical Ninja tonight. Oh god. 
That was a lot of fucking bombs there that I just threw out. Almost there. I knew it. I knew the goal was right there. Thank god I'm done with that one, never have to do it again. Another detail I love in this game is when you recycle backgrounds, they change it up a bit. The normal stage, if they the normal stage takes place at night, The version, this version looks early morning, and the cream stage earlier was midday. Yeah, that's kind of cool that they like changed some of the elements to make it look like it's different times of day. That's a nice touch. They could have all just easily been the exact same time of day. The sprinkler enemies are so flipping annoying. At least they're only found in specific missions, yeah. At least it's only like specific missions and not like all of the missions. Love that frame rate. Overdrift. Grab as many rings as you can while drifting to get to the goal in time. Okay, I'm having some serious frame rate issues here. Hang on a minute. So I've mentioned this already, but there seems to be an issue with the PC port of the game where the frame rate starts to dip for some reason. And when that happens, the gameplay becomes much like less fun because the frame rate is tied to your control input and sometimes you press a button and it does nothing. I really need to figure out why that's happening. It could be a, a, a setting somewhere that fixes that, but I don't know which one. So maybe next time I stream this game I'll figure out what's causing that and how to fix it. Let's do his worlds. I thought the game was going to crash there for a second, did you hear that? Here it is, the song that almost single-handedly killed Sonic. You know it's a shame because Sonic 06 does have a pretty good soundtrack and this song is pretty good as well. Who did this, the singing for this? I know it's not Crush 40. I just realised I'm going the wrong way. I mean, not in terms of like the level design, I'm going on the- I'm going in the wrong direction on the roads. But I think that's on purpose. I'll look at my ring count. <laughs> nice. Also, that was a very short mission. Even some bad games can have fantastic music. Point in case, Paper Mario Sticker Star. I don't remember that game's soundtrack, actually. Like, I, I, I want to forget that game exists, but I wouldn't doubt that it has good music. Marbles on. Right, that's Speed Highway done. We'll do that in a few minutes. Oh, 
reward of the board, show off your skateboard skills while racing to the goal before time runs out. Whoa, did you see that there? Oh. I saw like several buildings popping in in the backgrounds. This steam port is fantastic. Damn. Sonic. Why would you go the wrong way? Sonic! Oh, by the way, I'm, I'm not going to bother getting the S rank since I've already missed it. There is a cool easter egg here. Like, look at look at the wanted poster there. Wanted, Nick the Weasel, aka Fang the Sniper. I like how it has both regional names. That's really cool. Also in the background there, you can see... I forgot what the polar bear is called, but there's Bean the Dynamite, like the duck. There's also one for... Mighty and... who was the other one? There's like one for Mighty and one for Ray as well somewhere in this level. Oof. There we go. Thundershield challenge. Use Thundershield to reach the goal in time and obtain the Thundershield skill. This would be a good like, ability to get. It's essentially double jump. Oh fuck. Bark the polar bear and bean the dynamite. Way the flying squirrel and mighty the armadillo. Yep. Yeah, I forgot what the name of the polar bear is because he doesn't... What game does he show up in? It's like Sonic the Fighters, I think. Like him and bean the dynamite only ever show up in that game. And I guess they show up in the comics as well, but I've never read the comics. I don't know much about the, the Archie comics and whatnot. I know a bit about a particular Archie comic artist called Penn Tellers, though. That's a, that's a bit of a fucking rabbit hole. If you don't know about Penn Tellers, there's like a, a really good video online that explains who he is and why he's very controversial in the Sonic community. The short version is he tried to, um, basically, um, like take control of like Sonic OCs that he created for the Sonic comics. And I think he got he, he ended up getting the, the rights to those characters. It's a whole thing. Like there's, a, there's probably a good few videos online that explain it better than I could. But I think I think his name is Ken Pendles or Pen Kendles, I, I forgot, you have to look it up. But yeah. <laughs> there is no short version when it comes to explaining him. Yeah. That's about as best as I can sum it up, but obviously there's a lot more to it than that. 
again, there's some good videos online that explain it better than I could put together. Not gonna bother getting the S rank. Alright, just do that instead. No? Oh fuck. Didn't he try to sue Paramount for the Sonic 2 movie? Did he? I haven't heard of that actually. You know what Archie, like if I ever get into the Sonic Archie comics or whatever, actually I don't know if this is Archie, if this is IDW, but there was like a Sonic comic crossover at some point where it was like Sonic and Mega Man. Apparently that's really good. I need to check that out at some point. That might be IDW, but I could be wrong. Ooh, Sonic Heroes. Good song. So how many classic Sonic stages have I done so far? Like three? This is a uh, Heroes. Rouge the Bombardier. Watch out for the bombs that Rouge drops and get to the goal in time. Think you can dodge my bombs and get to the finish line? Bombs? You want them? Oh hey, it's this gimmick from Sonic the Hedgehog. Again, Sonic battle music. I'm assuming this song can be unlocked. To play wherever you want. Ah, fuck. that creaking noise those things make. The seesaws. Yeah. A little bit sloppy there, but I will. Speaking of clowns in the gaming industry, do you remember how David Jaffe tried to criticise Metroid Dread and made himself look like a dumbass? Uh, what was it he said again? Look up Metroid Dread, David Jaffe, and there's quite a few videos. Um, don't know if I want to look at that right now. I might. Hang on a second. Let me see if I can look that up real quick. Is there a video that like summarizes it much better than 10 minutes or 8 minutes because I don't want to, you know, watch an 8 minute video on stream. Oh, 
also i am going to do something real quick so give me one second to set it up hopefully it won't take more than a minute Let's see Nintendo roasts David Jaffe over Metroid Dread again. This video was by Game Explain three months ago. David Jaffe calling Metroid Dread bad design because I'm I'm looking at YouTube right now. I can't see the full title for some reason. Uh, rather than link me to it, can you tell me the title of the video so I can just search it? Because I'm gonna search it through this like YouTube player that I'm using right now. That would be better. It's an image? Okay then, you can link it then. Just uh, link it without the HTTP thing and I can just copy it into my browser. Or that, that works too. Right, one sec, let me check this out. Okay, so I might as well put this up on OBS so that I can share this with the class. Right, so here it is. Right, so bad game design according to David Jaffe. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Enemies flying over area, you have to break the first... The, you have to break. The first instinct is to shoot them. Orange windows. Oh yeah, this was... Right, I, I know who this guy is. This was the guy who got fucking stuck in the first area because he didn't think to break the that, like, bit of the ceiling that, like, the game telegraphs you to shoot at. That's right, I remember this fucker. Like, this is, like, basically the Metroid Dread equivalent of uh, Dean Takahashi, like, the guy that didn't know how to do the, you know, the Cuphead tutorial and he got stuck on it. <laughs> It's like, I mean, yeah, it's, it's not super obvious, but even I was able to figure out, oh, you shoot that part to continue. Like, maybe I went back and forth a little bit, but I wasn't stuck there for too long. Like, if you look at, if you look at my playthrough, it maybe took me, like, a couple minutes to figure that out. At most. But yeah, that, this, this, this whole thing, I'm not going to read all that, you can read it yourself, but... Yeah, I, f I forgot that this was this guy that had that like was criticizing the game because he got stuck here. Ridiculous. Anyway, thanks for sharing that image. That was a nice like summary of, of like him just being weird. And I've got three. I'm gonna do three more missions, and I'm gonna do the the shadow boss, or two more missions rather. Doppelganger race. Uh, let's do this one last. Right of spring. Springs everywhere. Use them to bounce your way to the goal in time. Ego there. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, what? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I had a bit of a brain fart there. Alright. Route 99 song. That's from... Sonic Adventure 2, I think? Or is that Sonic Advance 3? I forgot which one is Route 99. It's one of those two. Yeah, that's Sonic Advance 3. Like, because in Sonic Adventure 2, there's also a level called Route Number, but I forgot what number. Sonic Advance 3 was pretty good. It's a shame we didn't get a Sonic Adventure 3. I mean, we we did in spirit, but n not like in name. For all intents and purposes, Sonic 06 was Sonic Adventure 3. Like, it was pretty much just another Sonic Adventure style game, if you think about it. But I'm kind of glad they didn't call it Sonic Adventure 3 because it did not deserve that moniker. Didn't stop Sega from giving us a Sonic 4 though. I've got to worry about the gun truck while racing doppelganger Sonic. Oh. I was getting ready to spin dash there and the gun bot interrupted. Whee! Guess I went the wrong way. Oh fuck. Oh god. Guess I didn't get the skateboards. Oh, there's the poster. Like, there it is right there. Missing uh, Ray the Squirrel and... I can't read that. It's Mighty the Armadillo. I don't know why I need to read it. Like, I know who those two are. It's weird how Ray the Squirrel was just, like, completely missing until, like, Sonic Mania. Oh, jeez. I'm just getting destroyed by this thing. B rank. Got it. some skills that I can equip. Right, let's see. Enables double jumping. Right, there we go. Pretty good one to have. I 
How much is this? 110? Did anyone, does anyone know if Sega ever tried to fix the PC version of Sonic Colors? I don't know. I don't have the PC version of the game. I have it on PS4. I think they did fix like the, the visual bugs that were in the, the, the Switch version though. Wait, what does athleticism, ath what does athleticism do again? Plus speed. Okay. Yeah, we can replace that with this and power break. Oh, so I need to go back to Classic Sonic because I didn't confirm because I keep forgetting you need to like press a certain button to do that. You need to press the start button to confirm it. Right, there we go. Right, so I'm going to move on to Mystical Ninja starring Goemon in just a few minutes, but before we do that... Why don't we do... I'm not going to get to the next major story boss, but we can do this at the very least. You're finally here, Sonic. I don't know where we are, nor do I care. This is where I finish you, Sonic. Right, so here's a rival battle. Sonic vs. Shadow. Also, I kind of like this little nod to Sonic Adventure 2 right here. Like, look at this. There it is. I saw a really funny video yesterday about, like, it was a, a, a fan dub of, like, you know the cutscene when, like, Sonic and Shadow are about to fight on Space Colony Arc? And it was, like, a fan dub of them arguing how you pronounce the word GIF. <laughs> I have to show that, actually. It's pretty fucking good. So yeah, you have to collect these power orbs so you can attack the other person. Oh my god, Shadow, please. Right, so now he's going to be on the attacking. Ah, oh, fuck. Ran out of boost. Did I go right past that? Make sure I get rings in abundance so I don't run out of boosting. There we go. Right now I can do damage to Shadow by destroying these meteorites. Oh, 
Oops. There we go. Yeah, Living and Learn is such a good song. Oh, I actually got S rank on my first try. Nice. I'm gonna have to show you guys that thing now. Let me see if I can find it real quick before we continue. Okay, I think I found it. I promised Maria to get revenge. You're Hang on a second. I promised Maria to get revenge. You're wrong, Shadow. That image playing over and over in your head like a gif? It's not the truth. It's pronounced GIF. Actually, hang on a second. It's not showing up. <laughs> Sorry. I promised Maria. Right, here we go. Revenge. You're wrong, Shadow. That image playing over and over in your head like a. Why is this not showing up? You should check the video I posted. Uh, hang on a second. Some something's up here. I can't seem to get this to show up on the stream. Why is that not working? Yeah, one second. I had I had this set up specifically to play on like play YouTube videos easily on stream and it doesn't work now, so I need to figure out why it's doing that and how to fix it. Sorry about this. I don't I don't know why that's not actually I think I might know why it's doing that. Kind of. Let me check my stream deck settings, because it should be maybe in there I can figure out what's going on. Uh, see, it's under... Right, I think I know what's going on now. Because it's underneath this. Okay, here we go. Right, that's why it wasn't showing up. Sorry, that was my fault. But yeah, let's like if you haven't seen this yet. I promised Maria to get revenge. You're wrong, Shadow. That image playing over and over in your head like a gif? It's not the truth. It's pronounced GIF. Huh? Dot GIF. Like the peanut butter. The creator said so. That's dumb. It's graphics interchange format. The P in JPEG stands for photographic, but I bet you don't say JFEG. P on its own is it pronounced like F. That's totally different. It's exactly the same. Name one word that starts with G pronounced like J. Gentrification. Shoot, should have thought of that. I was just in San Francisco. For your logic <laughs> to be consistent, you'd have to say Scuba or La Seer. Yeah? Well, you'd have to say J Pedge. Wait, laser is an acronym? Light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Huh, didn't know that. You're still wrong, though. You just hate me because <laughs> I'm right. I just hate you in general. You mean in general. Yeah, I am going to kill you. <laughs> What's the name of that video that you linked me to? Again, it's easier if you tell me the name of it so I can just look it up because I'm not going to be able to load it easily through this YouTube player. Uh, hang on a second. We'll continue in just a second once I figure this out. The video is called You're a Beta Male Sonic. I think I got recommended this, but I haven't watched it yet, so I guess we'll check that out. Hang on. As soon as I get it set up. Okay, I think we're good here. Was this uploaded six months ago? I believe it is. You can't catch me! I'm the fastest thing alive! <laughs> I was thinking about why so many in the radical left participate in speed running. Uh huh? 
The reason is the left's lack of work ethic. What? Go fast rather than do it right. And in a Petersonian sense... Petersonian? To elevate alternative sexual archetypes in the marketplace. Fastest hedgehog. Shadow, what the fuck are you talking about? You're a beta <laughs> male, Sonic. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, that was a quick one. That was like 30 seconds long. Right, okay, um... That's enough of that for now. Maybe we'll check some more of those in the future. Like, the fan dubs are pretty good. There's also one about, like, Knuckles, like, buying NFTs or something. Maybe I'll show that next time I play this game. Right, okay, so I think that's a good place to stop for now. We'll do the rest of these side missions and then the next major, like, story boss next time. So I will stop here for the moment. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play Sonic Generations for a little bit. Uh, still a bit annoyed about the frame rate issues. I'm going to look into that, see if I can figure out why that's happening and if there's a way to fix it on the Steam port. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Uh, stick around. I'll be doing some Mystical Ninja in just a few minutes.